Yeah, and rainy season kicks off today. That's when we on average see our 70% of our average rainfall for uh, rather total rainfall for the year. It expands through October 15th, where on average for May through October, we pick up 52 inches of rain in Miami. And the reason being is we have what's called the Bermuda area of high pressure set up that's across the Western Atlantic, a very large area of high pressure that increases that sea breeze out of the east. That's an event brings in that moisture from the Atlantic. We feel it with the humidity and with that added moisture in the atmosphere that allows for a higher chance for showers and storms, especially considering those sea breeze collisions that we see during the summertime months. So here we go, heading into a wetter weather pattern and already today for the start of a rainy season. Appropriately enough, we have been dealing with some showers and even some thunderstorms. A look right now on our next weather radar network. Notice we have been tracking some of the storms pushing inland and that's kind of the motion with these. They've been moving from east to west, where we have been looking at some lightning and even some heavy rain. Now, most of this pushing out across Everglades. We had some lightning there, detecting about 29 strikes over about the past 15 to 30 minutes. It's now beginning to track off to the east, or rather west, of areas like Doral and Sweetwater as it now moves inland. So most of our coastal area is actually pretty quiet at the moment. That includes Pompano Beach down through Fort Lauderdale. A couple of showers just offshore there, but they're very week looks like they really won't be making their way onshore as they continue to weaken with that westerly track. We've seen a couple of showers down to the marathon area in the middle keys, but for the most part, the keys also pretty quiet today. We've got an easterly pattern back in place. That's what's been bringing us this kind of morning chance for showers and then all that focus inland during the afternoon. That's going to be the case through your Tuesday as well. We do have a pattern change in store as we head into Wednesday. We see a wind direction shift. This is what's going to be bringing us dry starts and then storms pinned across our coast by the afternoon. Now before the storms get there, what we're also going to feel is the heat. It's that breeze moving out of the west, the southwest that really warms up as it tracks over land. It's going to translate to some hot temperatures by the end or rather the second half, I should say, of this work week. Temperatures right now at the door, low to middle 80s. We'll continue to see the higher chance for showers and storms inland as we head towards four or five o'clock that evening commute. Most of our coastal zones should be quiet at that point in time with all those storms moving off to the west. Highs today at 87 degrees. Look at how we climb as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Those daytime highs back into the lower 90s above average and we'll keep it the 90 degree heat and daily chance for afternoon thunderstorms into the weekend.